Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to make a floating cabinet. So pretty straightforward. You start with your room, you make a wall, you're going to drop in. Usually we'll do this within the cabinet. It's pretty, pretty rare you want to set up a job to be specific for this, but I mean, you can set it up yourself. So I'm just going to take, uh, let's take maybe a three drawer. Yeah, let's take a three drawer cabinet. And then we're going to take it so that it's floating. Right now it's got add-on panels that go to the ground. We have, you know, a toe kick. We don't want any of that stuff. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go double click the cabinet, parts to build. And we don't want the front toe. We don't want the side toe. You want to get rid of all toe things. So we're going to click OK. So now we've got rid of all toe things. Also, because we have applied panels here, I'm just going to edit. If you don't have applied panels, this won't apply to you. So let's just remove the applied panels. You're basically done if you take off the applied panels. If you do have applied panels that go to the floor like we do, um, you would have to do something like this because our applied panels in the shape editor, or sorry, the shape tab, we've edited it so that it's got four and three quarters extra on the bottom. So we're going to set that at zero, and here we're going to adjust size, we're going to set that at zero. Okay, so now you have a floating cabinet with applied panels that's also floating. So now this is set at our standard four and three quarter inch toe kick height. Usually a floating cabinet, you probably want closer to eight to 12 inches off the floor. So we're probably going to have to edit, edit that too. So let's go to parameters set product parameters and we're going to go to the toe category and we're going to change the toe height we'll change the toe height to eight inches and we'll click ok and now we have a floating cabinet that's eight inches off the floor another thing you're going to want to do here because you're going to want meat to screw to the wall you're, got, you're not going to want to do a flimsy back with some nailers because it's just going to rip off the wall it's going to not last long at all so depending on your you know how you manufacture it's important that you change it to a full back and you want your full back to be at least a 5 8 back because otherwise again it's going to fall off the wall so select product parameters we're going to go to back and we're going to go to uh, back you got to make sure this all uh, cabinet has an un full unfinished back because some people have nailers here all of our cabinets for us are full backs but some of them have nothing there and then they have nailers on the top something like this so that's common for people to do just a nailer you're not going to want a nailer you're going to want to get rid of this parameter make sure you have no nailers and you have a full back so change this to Oops, let's change that to all cabinets. So you now have a full back. And this for us is a dado that goes into the gable. So it's actually pretty tough. It's a good way to mount it to the wall. Full back here, make sure you change that. The other thing you can do too is you want to make things a little bit simpler for yourself. Or maybe this is simpler because it's integrated the toe height. Um, copy that, just another way to do it. Um, set your toe height at zero okay and then you can just set your elevation at eight inches then you set your cabinet height minus eight a few ways to do it same same idea you're literally doing exactly the same thing cabinet is exactly the same as the other cabinet uh, other than the fact that your toe kick is not it's not reading the toe kick it's reading the elevation instead this one here is a little bit nicer in my opinion because you don't have to worry about changing the cabinet height or anything you just you set your toe height you set your cabinet height and that's it and that's how you do a floating cabinet if you want to do something like uh, well we'll talk about that in another video how to do a drawer cut out for plumbing and stuff like that 
um, you can add that in there. But the uh, same idea goes if you want to have three separate cabinets that have, uh, like say you clear this, and you have three separate cabinets, you're basically just screwing them together. You're basically just going to screw them together and then screw them to, wall, to the wall. So that's basically it for a floating cabinet. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great one. Bye.